Okay, getting started on double bass. We're going to do some 16th notes with our feet. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. But let's look at our position first. On the stool or the throne, what we want is our hip flexor on the edge. Okay? The muscle that actually moves your leg up when you're in a seated position in there. That's going to be right on the edge. Reason being, you want your weight of your legs to be forward so that you can use the, the biggest muscle in your body to get power in the pedals. Okay? You're also going to be on the ball of your foot, if this was your foot, and this was your toes, this part of your foot. Okay? Heel up slightly, just about a half an inch, so you're on the ball of your foot. Okay? Just practice basic 16th notes and try to get the volume the same on each side. Okay, your left, if you haven't played double bass before and you're right footed and you've been playing bass drum, it'll take a little longer on that side, but take it and even isolate it. Play some beats with your left foot just so that you can get used to connecting with it. All right, and eventually it will even out, become much more even. Okay, now let's take eighth notes over the top of the sixteenth notes. Now, what will happen is you're going to see the right hand will match the right foot with eighth notes. One and two, three and four, and right. Okay, now we're going to put the E's and A's on the upswing. Okay, we do that one more time. Okay, now let's put the snare on two and four. Okay, now just gradually build that up. You don't have to go real fast. Get accuracy is the most important thing. The speed will come with time. Okay, let's try it. those with your feet just to get you started next one will be triplets and uh, hopefully you'll tune in to them until then have a great day